Happy Thursday, Lost Salad at Home. Before we get into the world tour, I just want to remind you that we don't have school on Friday or on Monday. I hope you enjoy your four-day weekend as we set some time aside to reflect on those that gave their lives to protect our country. This is a time of the year called Memorial Day. So thank you to all the families out there that know what an ultimate sacrifice is. I appreciate you. Now guys, let's get back to the world tour. We have finally reached our final destination and it's fitting that we ended up in South America in the great country of Brazil. Brazil is a massive country that is only slightly smaller than the entire United States. That's pretty big. About 200 million people live here. Brazil is considered to be one of the mega diverse countries in all the world due to the many plants and animals, many of which that live in the Amazon rainforest. In fact, there are about 40,000 plant species, 1,300 bird species, 430 different mammals, and 3,000 different types of fish, and a whopping 2.5 million different types of insects that live in the Amazon rainforest. Wow! With that many different types of animals and insects, you're bound to see some fascinating and deadly creatures, including the electric eel, flesh-eating piranhas, poison dart frogs, jaguars, and even some seriously venomous snakes. Yikes! The Brazilian people are fascinated by sports and martial arts, as evidenced by their love for things like Brazilian jiu-jitsu, capoeira, and of course, football. Mm, not the football you toss with the, your hands, the football you play with your feet. Each of these activities requires strength, stamina, balance, and agility, all things that are valued by the Brazilian people. Some of the most famous athletes to emerge from Brazil are their football players, like Pele, Marta, Ronaldinho, and of course, Ronaldo. All right, guys, here's Rocco and his friend Gingy Bear with the Pledge of Allegiance. Take it away, Rocco. Hello, my name is Rocco, and this is my Ginger Bear Gingy. We will be doing the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Remove all caps. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance yeah. to the flag of the hey, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation yeah, okay. under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bye. Thanks so much, Rocco and Gingy Bear, for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Have a fantastic four-day weekend. And now, let's take a moment to remember the best times during this school year. Take it away, students. Hi, my name is Kalina. I'm going to my calf second grade class. Two great memories I have are Valentine's Day when we decorated heart boxes and the cooking we do sometimes on Fridays. It's delicious, baby. Keep those memories in your heart. Bye. Los Al. P.S. The cookie is just delicious. Hello. I'm thankful for my teacher and all my classmates. And I love learning a lot of new things during school. Bye, scholars. Uh, my name is Eli Kamala. I'm in fourth grade, my, and my teacher is Mrs. Paxton. And if it wasn't for COVID, I would be in Lee Elementary. One thing I want to reflect on this year, well, about this year, is making friends. Uh, for me, it wasn't sudden. I had to ease into it. And I realized that I had a lot of things in common with some kids, and I made friends with them from doing what I love. My favorite memory about Wausau Home is that we get to go on RV trips while doing school because we don't have to be at school. Bye. Hi, my name is Mont Montoya. I am in Metcalf's second. My memory is Christmas. When Miss Metcalf put a fake fireplace and she said do not burn your hand. She is so fun and funny. Don't forget to be yourself. Bye, guys. Have a great day. And now it's time for A for the Day. Our first A for the Day is a fifth grader from Miss Swain's class. Now, this student is nominated in areas of academics, attitude, ambition, and 
accountability. And let me tell you, I've known him for a long time, and he is all these things and more. He's also a big Star Wars fan, which is something I really dig. All right, guys, are you ready to find out who I'm excited about? Well, it is Brandon Laxina. Boom! Way to go, Brandon. Thanks for making all of us so proud of your hard work. Brandon is a silent secret weapon. He is a smart young man who has kept his face hidden most of the year, but his contribution to class has been very present. He volunteers every day, he participates in activities, and more importantly, he will ask questions and communicate directly with me every single day. He is polite, kind, and I appreciate everything he has brought to our class. Our next day for the day is a kindergartner from Mrs. Freire's class. Now this student's nominated in all five areas, and by the looks of it, he's been doing all the hard work to become a top scholar. I can't imagine how awesome he's going to be by the time he gets to fifth grade. Are you ready to find out who I'm excited about? Well, it is Jeremiah Washington. Way to go, Jeremiah. Thanks for doing the hard work to be a top scholar in kindergarten. Jeremiah has grown so much this year. His enthusiasm for learning and his positive attitude make him such a great part of our kindergarten class. He pays attention and tries his best in everything we do. His smile brightens up my day and makes everyone feel happy. I am so proud of his accomplishments and I know he will do a fabulous job in first grade next year. Way to go, Jeremiah! Our third and final day for today is a fourth grader from Miss Graves' class. Now this is a story of someone that's had to dig deep. Something that each and every one of you, all 1,000 of you, have learned to do this year. We gotta dig deep, make sure that we prioritize the important things, and get our work done. I'm super excited to be shouting this student out, who is being nominated, by the way, in the areas of academics and ambition. Are you ready to find out who is doing the hard work? Well, it is Sam Shao. Way to go, Sam. Thanks for doing all that it takes to be a top scholar. Getting up earlier than normal and the change in schedule for testing last week was not fun for Sam. However, he turned a sour situation for him into something sweet when he turned up the steam for the end of the year benchmark. Wow, he did an outstanding job. This motivation carried over to his schoolwork and he went back and made sure his semester work was an accurate representation of his ability, and he completed any available extra credit. Impressive determination and skill, Sam. I am proud of you. There you have it, La Salle. Remember, listen to your teacher, follow instructions from your parents, take a risk, and I'll see you online. Bye.